What's going on, everybody? Pepe up 100% on the week, and it is still moving. If you watched my video four days ago, well, congratulations, because you've just 10x your portfolio. But what's going on? How much more is this going to do? Is there an insane run coming with Pepe? Well, we're going to try and break it down for you in this video so that you know exactly how to play this trade, and equally, should you be buying or not. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with everything going on in the cryptocurrency world. Smash a like if you're holding your Pepe, and let's get into this one. So what you can see now is the 66th highest ranked cryptocurrency in the world right now is Pepe currently at 1325 11.7% up on the day and actually if we put it for the week 111% around 416 million dollars worth of volume and broke half a billion once again on market cap so we've seen another significant move up for Pepe now we'll look fully at the technicals in just a second but there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about I talked about this in my video the other day where the hold account on Pepe continued to rise you can see there 143,000, another half a percent up. And obviously a half a percent doesn't sound a lot, but when you context it against 143,000 holders, well, it suddenly starts to add up. And what you've got right now is that feeling that we had when Pepe was running. I talked about the second coming, the second run when it comes to these meme coins, these big ones. Shiba Inu did exactly the same thing. It had a big run up on its first run, but the second one was where people made millions and i think pepe potentially if the market keeps moving with us is about to do the same now it's quite a significantly far, you know far down from its top where it was listed on binance but we do know that our exchanges that are holding pepe are accumulating and you might think to yourself well why is that well you've got to understand that when volume comes in and we'll take a look at that in a minute they have to be able to satisfy that customer the customer that wants to get pepe right now they have to have that liquidity okx binance holding a significant amount now 9.3 million dollars is the total amount burned 1.6 percent of the entire supply so that's continuing to move up as well so everything right now with pepe is going in the right direction the sentiment about it even the fact you're watching this video that i've put out a number of other youtubers are all talking about it a lot of people are now buying back in please please though be mindful of those videos that tell you that they are buying if they don't show you proof I'm not sure you believe him. I haven't bought any. If you were part of my live stream, you would know that right now for me, this is not an opportunity I can buy into. I think it's aggressively over moving and i think a lot of retail is fomoing into this one in terms of the pepe we uh twitter page we've only got this now a lot of people obviously are expecting a significant move in november but it's almost is it the trick-or-treat situation is it just another play on the memes and they have been a bit more active in there what does that do spurs a community on a new advisory committee sits within there so right now everything is looking pretty bullish for pepe when you take a look at the price action, it is absolutely spiking right now and significantly spiking as well. So we were up around the 135, 136 range and is continuing to move. But as ever, the sensible thing is to zoom out. We'll go on a slightly higher time frame to make it a little bit easier. So you can see here with Pepe, that was the all-time high that we hit from that Binance listing up around that 4-5 range. Now that's quite a way to go. And we're sort of up around this level that we were back in August. So at the minute, it's a short-term move. It's got a long way to break that kind of 4-5 range. So is there a big potential upside? Of course there is. And could this do what Shiba Inu did? Yes. The debate for me right now is which one do you pick for the bull market are people going to move into SHIB with Shibarium with utility with all the access that they have or is Pepe going to be the new opportunity is Pepe going to be the one that really starts to move it's going to rely a lot on the community as well as those exchanges buying in but we do know people are starting to accumulate and what's interesting when you look at Pepe is obviously the volume spikes that we're getting around 100 trillion Pepe running through daily when we take a look and this is on Binance they are the biggest holder 145 million what you can see is where we have some of these bigger sell orders but equally the amount of orders coming in on the buy so you can see these running on the right hand side you know well over kind of 450,000 1.2 million 1.48 million there's some huge amounts of buys a lot of retail starting to move through but you think about kind of that significant level of volume that's going to be running through likewise with sales really big up to about 151 so people expecting a fairly substantial move particularly on the Binance platform it does fizzle out a little bit as those prices potentially move a little bit further likewise a lot of people not expecting to 
get a pushback on Pepe. This range from about 151 at the top end down to about 120. Looking where people are trying to pick it up. What does that tell you? It tells you that people have held and are probably looking for an exit. But once they're out, that could really spike up the price of Pepe. So do be mindful. You could see some real significant volatility within Pepe right now. You see that right now pushing back down around the six and a half. So be mindful if you are going to trade this. I do think there is some more upside if the market continues to move with us. The price of Bitcoin, 34,000. Looks like it's just had a big liquidation over there. So again, it is a very volatile moment in the market. A lot of sentiment is sat there and a lot of anticipation of ETFs could dwindle out, which could bring the market back down. So again, let me know in the comments though, what do you think? Have you FOMO bought Pepe or are you looking for an exit position? Let me know down below in the comments. And if you like this sort of content, you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency, you want to prepare yourself for the bull market, well, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, turn the notification bell on and smash a like on the video as ever. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.